Bank Inu developers burn all their team tokens as Solana ecosystem frenzy continues. Some 5% of the Bank token supply was burnt as prices dropped 40% in the past 24 hours. Developers behind Solana-based meme Cohen project Bank Inu, BONK, burned over 5 trillion tokens, or 5% of the total supply, earlier on Friday, blockchain data shows. The move claimed to have effectively burned all tokens, earmarked for developers of the project. Solana community members consider the burn a step towards the legitimacy of the Bank Inu project, one that calls itself a token for the people, by the people by actively avoiding insider token sales and predatory behavior. In the past 24 hours, centralized exchanges and decentralized applications alike introduced bank-based trading events and NFT mints, adding to the utility of the meme coin for traders and holders. Data shows over 3 million bank transactions were conducted over the past three days, suggesting active participation from holders. Unique bank holding wallets have grown to over 86,000 as of Friday from under 25,000 at the start of this week. However, large token sales have impeded bank's price rise, which is now over 2,000% in the past week. The tokens are down over 40% in the past 24 hours as early investors took profit in crypto exchanges, such as Bybit, introduced bank futures, allowing traders to bet against the token. The quick rise of bank Inu, fashioned around the popular Shiba Inu dog breed which has spurred popular projects such as Shiba Inu and Dogecoin, can be attributed to several factors. Last week, bank developers airdropped 50% of its entire token supply to several Solana-based NFT collections and creators, resulting in near-instant hype and a market for the project. Holders of a total of 297,000 individual Solana-based NFTs were said to receive the airdrop. Airdrops refer to an unsolicited distribution of a cryptocurrency token or coin, usually for free, to numerous wallet addresses and are generally used as a tactic to gain users. The project actively called out the toxic tokenomics of embattled funds like Alameda Research, which was widely criticized for distributing a small part of the token supply to retail traders while keeping a majority for private investors and project developers. Several Solana projects have already integrated bank tokens for use as payments for listed NFTs, while some introduced burn mechanisms for NFT-based events. Token burning means removing coins from the overall supply of a cryptocurrency. As such, liquidity pools on Solana-based decentralized exchanges, DEXs, such as Orca have attracted over $20 million in volume for trading pairs involving Bank, cumulatively netting thousands of dollars in fees for liquidity providers. Liquidity providers are investors who stake their cryptocurrency tokens on DEXs to earn transaction fees, usually in the form of token rewards. Data from Orca shows the Bank slash Sol pair has conducted over $14 million in trading volume while the bank slash usd coin pair saw over $6.2 million. Both pools are paying out nearly 1% hourly to liquidity providers, or over 24% each day.